So what Canadian films do you actually have to see if you're a Canadian? These are classics. Going Down the Road, 1970, Don Shabib directed this flash in the pan, lightning in a bottle, miracle of verite filmmaking about a couple of Maritimers who head out in the road looking for the promised land in Toronto of all places. This is improvised dialogue. It's almost documentary like portraiture of the city. If you remember Midnight Cowboy, 1969, well a year later this is our Midnight Cowboy. If there's one Canadian movie above all others that's considered a timeless classic, it's Mon Oncle Antoine, directed by Claude Jutra, the late Claude Jutra, in 1971. The movie itself is set in the late 1940s. It's set in an asbestos mining town, and it's an almost Dickensian story of a young boy, 14-year-old kid, Christmas Eve, goes out with his undertaker uncle, his drunken uncle, to retrieve a body and bring it back on a horse-drawn hearse. Amazing imagery. Beautiful photography, great acting, fabulous. Now, if there's one English-Canadian film that ranks as a timeless classic, it's got to be The Grey Fox, directed in 1983 by the late Philip Borsos and starring former American stuntman Richard Farnsworth in the true story of an old stagecoach robber who gets out of jail and comes to Canada and robs trains. Borsos shoots the Canadian landscape like no director before or since epic shots of trains, horses, in the same frame, yet at the same time, beautiful, intimate, elegiac scenes between Farnsworth and Jackie Burroughs, playing a feminist photographer who's his love interest. This is a Canadian movie like no other, one of a kind. Until 2002, there was English-Canadian film and French-Canadian film. Then suddenly, there was Athanarjouat, or The Fast Runner, the first movie ever shot in the Inuit language. It exploded out of Cannes, winning the Best First Feature Prize for Zacharias Canuck. This movie was made with largely non-professional actors up there in the Arctic. It's a story based on a thousand-year-old legend involving murder, adultery, betrayal. It's almost Shakespearean in scope. It takes place out on the ice and in igloos, in another time, another place, another world, and with an incredibly unforgettable scene of a fugitive running naked across the Arctic ice flows. My fifth must-see Canadian movie is Crazy, made in 2005 by Jean-Marc Vallée, who went on to great success with the Dallas Buyers Club. This is a coming-of-age story about a sexually confused kid growing up in Montreal. The soundtrack is packed with hits by the Rolling Stones, Pink Floyd, David Bowie. What's Canadian about that? Well, that's the world this kid lived in in 1970s Quebec. And the film is set in a Montreal that is very authentic, very true, I think, to the director's own experience. And there's a lyrical power in this film that really indicates a significant filmmaking talent and that takes us someplace very, very real and very Canadian.